another video. We are doing a DIY slash bathroom update slash bathroom um, renovation. It's not a whole bathroom. We're not taking anything out. I'm going to quickly explain what's happening. As you've seen at the beginning of this video, um, where I showed you guys a clip with one sink and, you know, the situation. Now I'm standing here, it's the same background, but obviously we now got two sinks. So the plan is to obviously was to have the two sinks put in instead of the one sink because we had a very long counter. I think it was about 99.9 .9 inches and about 29.5 in width. And it had this one tiny sink in the middle, which I had to share with my husband, which is not a problem. There's nothing wrong with sharing one sink, but I was like, there's so much space. And we had all our products out in the open, which they were collecting dust and clutter was building every day, especially on my husband's sites. Don't tell him. Well, he's probably going to see this video. Yeah, so I thought, you know what? Why don't we have two sinks and utilize the space? Because we do have the space. The bathroom is quite generous. Um, we have, I'm going to quickly show you now, like the whole bathroom and what my plans are, obviously, for this bathroom. Um, we have a shower over bath um, in this bathroom, obviously the toilets and the sink area, but it is still a good size. We're still left with a lot of space. So I thought if I update it and, you know, add a few things, take a few things out, it might feel a little bit sort of like um homely or not as like this huge space that's just got a toilet and the sink so um the plumber has been in um he came yesterday and then he came today to obviously finish because he needed some few items which he didn't bring yesterday and we've got two um lovely um new sinks obviously with tabs and i have to keep them silver to match the stuff that or the taps and the shower that's over on the other side even though i would have loved to have like a gold color or black but you know it is what it is the mirror behind me is going because i do not understand how you will have a mirror like that in a space like this but you know we all think differently as individual so i've um purchased uh, round mirrors silver mirrors which are going to go on each side um so the vibe will almost be like his and hers kind of side. And then what we're going to do next is, right, let me turn the camera around and then I'll talk you through what we're doing so that you can understand the whole plan. So as you can see, um, he's put the two sinks and underneath, if you obviously look from the start of this video, you will see that the sink was there in the middle of the two sinks and he's connected the pipe nicely everything is tidy so what i'm planning to do on the left underneath the sinks on both sides left and right i'm gonna have some i'm gonna leave that untouched as a space for baskets laundry baskets and then in the middle there i am gonna try right now to build some shelving with uh, the leftover of the mdf board so we can keep all our products and towels underneath there. So that's right over there. So I'm thinking maybe we'll have maybe two shelves. And then once I've done the shelves, if obviously I've never done shelves before, but if it happens that I can't do it, I'll wait for the carpenter who's going to come anyway and do the doors because we're going to keep a kind of those, um, you know, pipes exposed like that. It's, it will just be calling for trouble. So I'm going to end up putting the doors there to cover the whole thing. And I've got an idea, which I'm so excited to do when the doors are in. So that is the one side. And then obviously, as I told you guys, that mirror is going because it is so wrong. So we're going to have um, two mirrors on each side. Right. On this side of the bathroom, I do apologize about the mess. If you've seen, we've been doing some work here. So that's an old um, cupboard that was underneath the sink, which was just, if you've seen at the start of the video. So that is going to go um, to be thrown away. And at the moment, I've got all our products by the window and that is going 
the uh, how you call it the blind office blind but for now i suppose it's okay i mean with the window like that we don't really need it but it was here when we moved in and we've kept it and then on that side of the bathroom as you can see it's just the toilet bit and i've got some macrame piece there which is going to go as well because i plan to put something over there so i just wanted to quickly show you guys the bath um the shower over bath so that's what it currently looks like um as you can see um or as i've said before the gentleman who did our um, sinks had to reseal all the bath because all around the bath wherever you can see the seal that was disgusting so he had to take the whole thing out and um obviously redo i do love the tiles which we have on here around the shower area and obviously on the outside of the bath as well but i've got plans for the parts of the outside the bath and it's the it's the same tiles that we've got on the side so the plan really is to get the walls painted white and once they painted white um, all around, as you can see, um, I'm going to have to then um, do a lime wash on top. So that's the plan. If I go back, I, I want you guys to see how much space we've got in this bathroom. Literally, this is me. Oh, God, what am I stepping on? Oh, it's the machine. Yeah, so that's how big of a space we've got at the front um as you can see and then at the moment i've got these mdf boards which i'm gonna cut now i've got a machine which my plumber has kindly lent me to cut and try and do some shelving and also i'm gonna be finishing this part here i've got some pieces of mdf that's gonna go here because this counter is an old counter so i'm gonna put some mdf over there all around this white area and then this whole area of mdf i'm gonna paint it then later on i've ordered some um some uh what you call it micro cement which is gonna go on top and this whole area this web top is gonna have that cement effect which is going to go nicely with the walls once I've lime washed them. So I'm hoping you're starting to get the idea now of what we are trying to achieve. Yeah, so that's the whole idea. The inspiration really is all about, um, if you've seen my stories, I think I did post this. Um, I want to get a feel that I'm either in Bali or I'm in a lodge in South Africa and oh let me quickly show you guys the sketch that i did because after coming up with the idea i had to quickly scribble the idea of what i was doing let me see if i could find it so as you can see i hand sketched this um to show my plumber really what i wanted to do and also for me to be able to remember what I was doing. As you can see, I've got um, silver accessories there, two round mirrors, two sinks, and then the concrete, and then we're keeping the tiles. So that's like, you know, the idea to remind me. I always do this in Soviet. I don't know why I never use like proper paper. So yeah, that's the idea of what we're going for, or it doesn't have obviously to be exactly like that, but it should give you an idea what I'm trying to achieve. I'm not sure if I'm still going to do these because I've decided now I'm going to add doors. So we'll see at the end if I'm still going to add the towel rails at the front or I might actually find a space for them. But at the moment, obviously, we don't we didn't have the um, a rail for the towel next to the sink. When we had the one sink, it's not going to be an issue. Um, yeah, so once everything is done, I'll see at the end if we can accommodate it or if I might have like, you know, some um, just one towel hanging over the sink or on the side of the sink because we've got a bit of space now. So that's the idea.
Yeah, it's quite late now. I have finished covering the front bit of the um, the work top. But then I've realized that I've only just ordered the, the micro cement that's going to go on top. And in the meantime, we're going to need to use the sinks. So because this is an MDF, I'll show you what I've decided to do. So I found in the garage one of this MDF primer, which is water-based, in white. So I'm going to basically, I've started in the corner there. I'm just going to prime the whole counter white in the meantime. The reason I'm doing that so that if we spill water, because obviously we've used MDF um, to create the wet top, which obviously is going to be covered by the micro cement. I don't want this whole thing falling apart or like causing damage because, you know, accidents happen and it's a sink area. We need to use the sinks, brushing teeth, washing hands, the shebang. So better safe than sorry. So I've started here in the corner. I'm probably going to put like one or two coats and let it dry. And then, then I know that it's safe to use, um, Hope that makes sense. So it's by, I think I got this at B&Q, Leilidia, MDF Prime. Yeah, so that's where we are. And I will pick up the camera when we are actually at the end of the video. Like once I think I've put the, the micro cement. So because it's just a waiting game now. So I'll speak to you guys soon. It's been a, an early start today. Um, I do apologize if it's a bit echo. I'm in an empty bathroom at the moment. Yeah, I'm finishing up the ensuite today. It's long overdue, really. One of the reason really it's taken me this long to finish this room is because I had to get the right um, uh, micro cement, which I looked at different um companies online and i managed to find one which is local to me in penarth and i ordered and this morning i opted for a pickup um, instead of delivery which i am glad i did that because um when i got there the gentleman who owns the shop or runs the shop i'm not sure if he owns it but um the gentleman there kindly explained to me and as I was asking questions I realized that I've ordered the wrong micro cement and they had obviously some of the one I needed in stock so they did a swap for me and I was able to bring it home with me I am looking tired guys because I woke up at six today I was on a mission and I didn't sleep well last night so I've got it here I'm gonna finish my cup of tea then I'm gonna make a start but um, before I make a start, I am going to quickly show you guys how far um, I've done with the, obviously, um, with the counter. And then I'll show you what's also in the bucket. It comes in the bucket uh, um, of what I bought. Uh, what I will do, I will put the link for their company. If you're looking for something similar and you near me, the, I know they do ship all over. Um, so all over the country if obviously you can't pick up i'm sure they can send it to you home so let me quickly finish my cup of tea and then let me quickly show you guys how far we are and then i'm just gonna crack on um because i do want to finish this bathroom yeah if you recall the walls were kind of like cream so i've painted them white i am gonna do another coat actually um to make them white 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 and i've built the shelving using the same mdf that i've used on the counter um i just needed a space really to put all our clutter so that there's nothing sitting on the on these counters once they're done and i've replaced the washing um baskets i stayed with the same or similar one which was linen the reason i've gone with these as you can see behind there there's loads of piping and if I've gone with something harder and once they put the doors, I didn't want something that was going to affect the pipes. Um, so I thought with the linen ones, they can take a shape, you know, um, and also they soft. 
so it'll be easy to close the doors that's my reason behind going for the same linen sort of like fabric um yeah so the shelvings i used the mdf the uh, boards they didn't have the thickness that i wanted but as you can see it's quite thin but it works because we haven't got anything heavy that we've put there it's mostly our face products and creams and things um yeah so let me then show you guys what's in the bucket the company is called concrete lab and i've went for the micro cement polished concrete kit and it's an off-white color um five square meters should be enough as you can see they do them in different colors there's a light gray there's a mid gray and a dark gray it will depend what takes your fancy i didn't want the dark color because i thought it might not go with the color that i've already got in here and i didn't want to spend too much money changing everything else inside the bucket um it's all the stuff you're gonna need that took me about 15 minutes to open that it was so hard but anyway um we've got let me see uh liquid resin whatever that is so two of those um which there should be some instructions anyway you said and then I also have that super plasticizer. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure I'm gonna need it somehow. And then primer 250 mix, Monje with water. Um, and then I think this is the cement, the five. Um, yeah, it's already pre-mixed for us. So I'm going to use the same bucket, obviously, to mix the whole thing up. Exciting. All right, let me make a start then, guys, um, so I don't waste any time. And then I'll keep you posted as I work along. Yeah, so I've emptied everything out of the bucket. Now I'm going to start my mixing. First things first, I've got this primer, which I need to... They've even written for me one of three, so... I've shaken it already. I'm going to use that small bucket which I had in the house and I'm going to pour all of this and then mix it with three parts of water of the same height as this bottle. So that should be easy. And then that's my concrete over there. It's like a white off white color. So, but I need to prime the surface first, which I've cleaned with the dump cloth to get rid of all the grease the dust and everything else and i've also taped my edges as you can see and all around the tap area and the sink area so i'm gonna make a quick start now There is a lot of mixing, but um, Concrete Lab has made it so easy for anybody who wants to use this. Um, you know, instructions are straightforward. Even the products that they give you within the bucket, they're so clearly labeled, you, you, you wouldn't go wrong anyway. But they did say, if I get confused, I can always call them, but I didn't need to do that. So I have... Um, prime the surface you you can't actually see it because obviously below that i've painted it white anyway with the mdf paint 
so that needs to um to dry for about 30 minutes which that was probably 40 minutes ago i've been mixing now the actual thing so these um they're quite generous with the size because i'll show you quickly guys yeah so in that bag there's two bags there which it's a 5 kg but there's two bags i think they've done them in 250 so i don't think i'm gonna need both of them i've put one bag in there um the off-white color but they already mixed it for you i just need to only add there's another mixer now i'm working on that's actually the concrete um i think resin basically what i was saying to you as you can see there it says mix one part to two parts water which i have done here in my bucket there's a lot of mixing <laughs> so i'm mixing it with this wooden spoon and this will then go oh just drop that in this will then go in there and then i'm gonna try and mix it mm. 